hear out from some of us. Uh, oh, a friend of mine had a terrible time. Um, he's completely lost his livelihood. He can't get a job. No one will take him anywhere. He's a Marilyn Manson tribute. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> so, um, I went to the whole night where everyone was wearing face masks. It was lovely to see so many happy, smiling faces. <laughs> My face masks? Where the hell else do you wear a mask? They don't, you don't get arse masks, do you? It's <laughs> a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Who else is an oxymoron? Here's a uh, phrase that keep hearing all these stories, like... The, ass the assailant was convicted of indecent assault. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? As opposed to what? Decent assault? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> So what do you hope to achieve with this position? He said, well, I really want to get my foot in the door. <laughs> uh, we had a cat with leprosy. Uh, one day he got up a tree and, well, at least he managed to land on his feet. <laughs> you know, that, there's that old song called, Pack Up Your Troubles. Well, I've taken that phrase very literally. My neighbour's dog has been keeping me up for ages, so today I spent an hour trying to fit that horrid cunt in a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been taking advantage of my freedom. I, my, I paid a visit to uh, Belfast. I went to the town centre, there was a big explosion, there was debris and fire everywhere. I said, well, look, oh my God, what's going on? Was this the IRA? Oh, don't worry about it, pal. Just a gender reveal party. <laughs> I went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I went to the fairground. I won a goldfish and a coconut. Or as the Tories call it, school lunch. <laughs> now, I believe this is the job of every comedian to know where to draw the line. Oh, I wish that was there in the laboratory. <laughs> So I was reading an article, I uh, was reading a blog post, and um, it's a, and based on Morrissey's controversial statement, it said, why I feel sorry for fans of the Smiths. I'm like, bitch, try being a lost profits fan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, comedy plus tragedy equals time, bro. <laughs> So, so, on my way here, this fellow on a bicycle tried to sell me drugs. He was peddling. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you meet some kind of, the people you meet in the comedy game. But I tell you, one person I met, Pretty Patel's gynecologist. Now he told me the first time he took a look up there, he shouted out, "Fuck me! There is just no end to this cunt." <laughs> And Diane Abbott went on countdown. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine those two on the numbers game? Go oh, blimey! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a name is Pretty Patel anyway? Sounds like a rejected Bond girl name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pretty. Well, of course you are. Pretty Patel. I must be dreaming. <laughs> So, uh, I have Jewish heritage, I've uh, got a Jewish mother and all. I'm not the type of Jew to wear my Jewishness on my sleeve because the last person to make us do that was Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of annoys, here's a phrase that annoys me. Being English, we insist on words being spelled and pronounced properly, and now we, and hence the, and people in souls with the phrase grammar Nazi. Because, as we all know, there is a special ward in Auschwitz reserved for people who misuse apostrophes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, Spock, wrong, going straight there. <laughs>
Yes, quite. <laughs> so, it's special. You ever done that thing where you have a drink and somebody makes you laugh and you snort and liquid comes shooting up your nostrils like that? Really? Free advice, never ever tell a joke whilst in the middle of oral sex. Uh, oh. <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> now it's great. Bit, now I meant to. Yeah, my mother doesn't like me telling the Jewish joke, so um, we have agreed to a compromise. Um, I'm saving them all up for the next Labour Party conference. <laughs> so I've been in Bristol for a while, sir. So after years of chin wagging and thumb dra foot dragging and thumb raggling, they finally changed the name of the Bristol Beacon, of the Colston Hall to the Bristol Beacon. So there's the, we want this na its name changed because it's associated with somebody who did awful things right here. She was a terrible person, committed terrible crimes. Yeah, I got two words for you, pal. Savile Row. <laughs> 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 I come from this place in, Axe, a place in Devon called Axeter. I don't mean to say that the comedy scene there is dead, but the last place I performed there used to be a mortuary. <laughs> well, the good news is I still got a shag afterwards. <laughs> I was in a cemetery recently. I saw a pair of, I saw a pair of grave robbers. And they were dismantling a corpse and they took something off below the leg. I was like, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? We're taking the knee. So last time, so I was here many ages ago, uh, and on the outskirts of the place, did you know this? There is a, there is a um, awful license called Amy's Wine House. <laughs> I'll bet her family loved that. <laughs> yeah, how did she die again? Substance abuse, was it? Good. I eagerly await the opening of Buddy Holly Airways. <laughs> 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 so, so I found, um, so I do this, uh, so I'm an extra, I do amateur dramatics, um, I saw there's a pantomime, we did one song with, with you know that song at a little party, never kill nobody, you know that one? That's a lot of my variable. Ha! Okay, I was going to say Fatty Arbuckle, but none of you would have got that, so... <laughs> well, there is good news for uh, old Barrymore. I hear he's making a comeback. He's uh, joining a tribute band. Yeah. Badly Drowned Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got the shock of my life when he said, all right, I want everybody to change keys. <laughs> the last time somebody told me to change keys, I was at a swingers party. <laughs> Mind you, the kids didn't like it. <laughs> we have a bit of a trouble with um, other musicians. Um, we have an orchestra. We have to get rid of some of the members because they got caught having sex in the pit. It was the conductor's fault. He did say he wanted more feeling. <laughs> so, have, you ever, have you ever had a conversation with somebody and they say, well, needless to say, and then they resume talking? It's like, well, if it's needless to say, why are you fucking saying it then? <laughs> what do I think about this? Well, needless to say, Right, um, is this a shame that my comedy night seem to end the same way as my romantic engagements? 
I've got to go, I mean, uh, 10 minutes is almost up. <laughs> I want to leave you with something. Uh, my dad always used to say that the worst thing that you can do to an enemy is just ignore them. I now understand why he was kicked out of the army. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>